Yo, K Pace Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I have some really cool stuff that I want to share with you guys today. And right behind me, right now, we have my hey, TV in the back, guy. my LG OLED. K Pace Guy. Man, what? You are always in my videos. You are always ruining my videos. What is it? Hi. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, you know, a lot of your new subscribers and your old subscribers, they want to see your. Uh, your new home theater for 2019. Um, are you ever going to show it to them? Because you're kind of being a snake. You keep talking about it, but you don't. You don't ever show it. And what's up with that nighttime video that you put up? I couldn't see anything at all. It was a stupid video. It was just blue lights in the background. Come on, Cape Base guy. Dude, you weren't supposed to say anything. It's supposed to be a secret. I was just gonna wait for everything to get here, put everything where I wanted to be, everything looking nice, and then I was gonna reveal the home theater. You weren't supposed to say anything. I can't stand you, K-Face guy. Oh, quit whining. Just show them the theater. When you get the rest of your stuff in, you can just make another video. It's not that hard. Just do it. <sighs> Whatever. All right, guys, so change of plans. We're gonna reveal the 2019 home theater setup. Incomplete. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we're just gonna start right now. Let's just get right into it. We're gonna go through everything that's currently in the home theater and we're gonna list them down in the description below so that um, you guys, if you guys see anything that you like in this home theater, it'll be down there for you guys to click the link and go directly to it. Most of it, if not all of it, will be on Amazon. So let's get this started. Right here, of course, is um, probably the biggest prize possession that I have in this home theater, and that is the PB4000 from SVS. A fantastic subwoofer. I've done a ton of different reviews on this sub. So if you haven't watched any of my reviews, check them out. I highly regard getting the subwoofer if you don't have it. I do have two of them. There is another one there in that corner off to the right of it is my poke audio 707s now a lot of people have been looking at these recently on my channel because there's not a lot of people who have these um, on their youtube channels because they're kind of an older speaker they've been around for a while but um they're about two thousand dollars just for one speaker so not a, lot of, not a lot of people really want this speaker and uh, those that who really do, they've been asking me a lot of questions about it. So this is the 707s. They say the sweet spot's around the 705s. So that's probably the, the best part of the, the line there. You have the 703s, which are the bookshelves that I have here. And then you have the 705s, which are floor standers that are just a tad bit smaller in height and depth um, with smaller radiators, or excuse me, with bass drives at the bottom. And I'll show you the speakers here. I'll take the grill off, they are magnetic. It has those two drivers, I think these are like 6x9s, and then the 507s have, um, oh, excuse me, the 5x7, uh, the 705s, so they have a 5x7 driver there. So you can see those are both active, they're not passive radiators, they're both um, active woofers there. And they punch, they pack some bass. And then you have your mid-range here, and then of course your tweeter, wave guy, fantastic tweeter. Love this tweeter, love this speaker. I have mine in a mahogany finish. You can't really tell, it looks black to you guys. It actually has a, a warm red to it, a slight red tone to it. it. Looks freaking fantastic. And then again, you have my 703s here. Those are 707. So you have the 706C center channel here. And this is a beefy center channel. This is my favorite center channel that I've ever heard. I always wanted a big center channel. It's not the biggest center channel, but it is pretty big. And so this is a 706C from Polk Audio. Um, it is by Ampable, or by, I'm not sure by Ampable is a word, but it can be by Amped or by Wired. Um, fantastic, big, very heavy, about 70 pounds. I forgot to mention these speakers here, they are uh, over 100. So they're pretty heavy, pretty hefty. And then right above that, we have the LG um, OLED C7P 55 inch. 
that's the tea that I've been using for the last um, year or so. And I'm planning on doing another review on this because a lot of people have been asking about OLED's burn in and retention, things like that. Let's see if I can keep this in focus here. There we go. So people have been really asking a lot about this television and how I've been feeling about it. Has it caused me any issues? Um, there will be a review of that probably in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But that's my 55 inch television, fantastic TV. Look at the viewing angles as we go sideways on this television. It is phenomenal. You don't lose any color, any brightness, contrast, anything like that. Since we're here, we'll talk about these lights that I have down here. Now these aren't LED strip lights. These are, um, they stick via Velcro and they're just little cylinder lights here. Little circular lights, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. Pick that up. They're just little lights here that stick on Velcro, but I don't have anything to stick the Velcro on, but I have four of them there. So that's one down there. There's one sitting back here behind the television. And then I went ahead and stuck them at the bottom of my speakers here because it actually has a cool effect. My speakers are lifted just a little bit from the base because these speakers are decoupled from the floor so that it sounds better, it doesn't vibrate the ground. And so I actually stuck a light down there. And so when you're sitting back here on the couch and you're watching the movie, you have a nice glow underneath. I thought that was really cool. Um, if you guys haven't noticed or if you're new, my whole center channel is just on a center channel stand now. It's on a free stand. I decided not to get a TV stand. I had a really nice one that I was going to get. It was super expensive, but a super nice, full gloss, completely glass, really nice one. But I decided that I wanted to um, get more space in this room. And so I ended up just getting a central channel stand, and that will be in the description below. Um, super nice, easy to put together, looks great, holds up to like 100 something pounds. Um, super fantastic center channel speaker stand. So down here at the bottom, I've done the best I could with my wire management because as you can see, again, I don't have my stand anymore. So there really isn't anything hiding the, the wires back there. I've done the best that I could. It's really hard to manage my cables because some cables have to come out of that little um, cable strip a little bit earlier than the other cable. So I can't just leave it open a little bit and pop it out. I have to kind of just tuck it underneath. This is why that wire comes out there and then that wire there. It's just too many wires to fit inside that and too many routes that the wires have to take. So I didn't really get to manage that, but I tried to make it as best as I could. So when you're here and you're full on straight in front of the TV, you can see that stuff, but I mean, it's the best I can do. And I've tried to do it around the room. I got to find some more for that there. And then I got to try to find some more for that there, but I've done the best that I can. Got to get some for under the desk there, but that's that for the cable management. That's how I manage my cables. Next, we have the new panels here. They are the same ones that are on this back wall here. I went ahead and kept those on and I put um, some panels here, not really for anything other than keeping reflections down. They're not gonna hold in sound in your room. They're not gonna dampen your bass or make your bass respond better, but they do um, take away reverberation, reflections, and it's a must. After I heard the difference when I had it in my old home theater, I went ahead and uh, brought that to this home theater and I will not ever go without it. I stuck one panel behind each bookshelf there and that's good enough for me. I have a whole carpet and a rug in this room so I'm having pretty good um, sound dampening, curtains take away some reflections. So I'm not gonna add any more at all. Of course that painting there, that helps a lot. So got those there and they came in a 24 pack for like, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks, I'm not sure. So um, you can get these pretty cheap and they work pretty well for what they're for. And then of course we again have my other PB4000 on the right side of the room. So this desk is completely new now. I went with a glass desk. The whole point of me getting a new stuff was for two reasons. One, I wanted just to make my home theater room a living room because this is my living room. And I decided that I didn't want to make my living room look like a home theater. I wanna wait till I get my own house, rent a house, buy a house or whatever happens in the future and make a dedicated room my home theater because I didn't want my living space where people walked into to look like a home theater with home theater seats and lighting and popcorn machine. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it homely so that when I came home from a long day's work or a stressful day, or maybe it was a good day, no, I don't know. And I just want to come home and relax. I can without feeling like I'm sitting in a theater. So I wanted to keep that. Um, that was one of my reasons. The second reason for getting all my new stuff was because I wanted to make a, a more modern look. So my desk is one of the biggest modern looking things besides you know my speaker, my TV stand, things like that. This desk is all glass, minus the legs, they're metal. But this is a, a tempered glass, two-tone desk. So not many people, not many gamers have two-tone desks. Most people have wood or some kind of really nice marble. I went with glass, it wasn't expensive at all. I went with glass. I like the two-tone change here. I like the 
the glass and then you have, you know, just completely tinted out. And then I have my Corsair um, keyboard. I had this for a while. It has different lighting functions and like that. Right now it's just kind of going through different colors. Of course I have my controller chargers there. I have two controllers so if you want to try to beat me in anything, good luck. <laughs> I have my headphones. Those are just on display because I'm using the rigs down there, which currently don't have a house yet, but I'm going to get a, a stand or a hook for them. And I tried to keep my desk minimal. It was really cluttered and, and just messy if you guys saw my last few videos. So I'm, I kind of like clean things up, especially my cable management. Uh, underneath here, I got this desk also because it has really nice grill on the back. It kind of helps me keep that clutter. And I know you guys can see all that wire hanging down right there. And it used to be way worse than that. Um, but when you're standing up or you're sitting on a couch, this is all you see. You don't see any co other cables other than that cable coming out of the floor, which I just can't do anything about. So when you're standing up, you can't see any of it. It's perfect. I love it. And I'll try to figure out how to hide some of that stuff down there in the future. But that's that. Of course, this chair is new. It's nothing special. It's from Mainstays. You know, Mainstays is like a budget, uh, budget company who makes things for like Walmart. Got it because my other chair just squeaked, so I went with this one. Nothing special. Probably won't upgrade it. I'm not really into getting gamer chairs, racing chairs, and like that. And then, of course, you guys know this painting has been in all my videos. It's actually going to bleed this living room. Not getting rid of it, but the warm tones of this picture does not match anything in the room anymore. And so it's going to go in my second listening room that I'm going to reveal to you guys later on in the future because it matches the aesthetics of that room way better. And so I'm going to put it in there and I have a new one that's going to be coming up and it is a piano again. So it's going to still stick to that theme of music and it's going to look really nice in here. And then on the right side of it, I do have my other 703. Now, um, I didn't mention the edifiers here. These are the Edifier Luna HDs. They are fantastic desktop speakers, but they're not just desktop speakers. These speakers are also Bluetooth. Um, you can connect them with a headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. You are able to do that. So if you want to listen to it directly with plug in to your phone or a tablet, you can do that. You want a Bluetooth, you can do that. Um, they are fantastic speakers. They are glossy finish. They are um, really cool looking, as you can see. A really cool shape and these they have two passive radiators back there that really had some dump I was very impressed with these speakers when I first heard them and I've reviewed them on the channel So definitely take a look at that and of course we see blinking back here is Amazon I'm not gonna say her name because <laughs> she won't be quiet if I do but she's back there I have her on my desk now She's not controlling anything yet, but I have a lot of smart lights and smart outlets I'm gonna be getting later on in the future and then the Xbox is housed down there and of course my camera on top of my my monitor for streaming and then we got to accent the house with plants, got to add some greenery to it. Now let's talk about this couch right here, guys. So this couch, I had bought this couch and I, the pictures didn't look the way that it looks now. It's not as big, which I don't like, and it's not the right color. And it's kind of grown on me a little bit because of the pillows that I put on there. But I still don't like the color. The color was most, supposed to be more of the color right here where my foot's at. More of a darker kind of gray. Um, not a black. I didn't want to go black again because I wanted to keep some light into the room to make it open feeling. Make it a more open feeling room because the room's small. This room is about 17 and a half by 11 feet. So it's not a big room. Not a tiny room. But I didn't want a big couch, but I didn't want a small couch. I didn't want two couches either. So I got rid of both of them. Got this one uh, yesterday or the day before, I remember. But I didn't like it because it was the wrong color. I wanted it to be a little bit darker to match more of the carpet. It still matches because that color is in the carpet, but I wanted to get something more modern looking. I wanted some, a, a chase so I can kind of lay and do what I want to. And of course you can sit regularly, but it's just too small and I don't like the color. So I'm actually, I've, I've already issued a uh, refund and gonna have it picked up and returned on Friday. So I will actually be without a couch for a, probably a week or so because I'm sending this one back and getting another one. So of course I'm gonna be, out, be without a couch for a while. It's gonna suck, but it's all right. And I didn't forget about these big guys in the back. A lot of people comment on these whenever they watch my videos. It's like, dude, those surround sounds are huge. They're right above your head. You're probably killing yourself. And yeah, it's not ideal for them to be that close to me. Of course, they're not turned up loud at all. They're um, calibrated very, very well so that um, they don't seem so close. And they're delayed so they don't. Um, I don't hear them before I hear the rest of the sound system. But these are the 702 FX. Um, these are the big bookshelf speakers, I guess you can call them bipolar speakers. Um, I, I might try to take the grill off. It's very hard for me to take the grill off on my, with one hand because they, these magnets are serious. Uh, got it. All right, so we're not going to try to put that back on. This speaker is very, very weird. I actually have it reversed. I actually need to switch this one with the other one, except the tweeter faces my listening position. 
But that's the 706. Let me see if I can brighten it up for you guys so you guys can see. There you go. 706, it has the same driver that it has in the rest of its line. And then it has, of course, the same mid-range that it has in the Waveguide tweeter. And I just love this tweeter, man. It's just so soft. Um, really quickly, a lot of things that people say that they hate about my system is um, if you compare it to like Clips or something like that, it's very bright in your face. These speakers are not bright or in your face whatsoever. They're very neutral, even a little bit warm. And honestly, I've went back into my receiver and I've turned up the treble in my system because it just, um, I need a little more sparkle in them. They're so neutral sounding, I need a little more sparkle in them. And if you're used to anything that's um, vibrant, that's bright, that's loud, that's in your face, you're not gonna like these speakers because they're so neutral, which is how sound should sound. You want it to be as um, close to the, the instrument that you're listening to as possible. So if I'm playing a piano, I don't want my piano to be in my face. I don't want it to be um, aggressive or loud or vibrant because that's not a way a piano sounds in real life, if that makes any sense. So we'll br bring this brightness back down a little bit. Just give me one second. There we go. All right, so that's what I love about these speakers. They're very powerful, they sound great. And that's the grill on it. It's a huge speaker. Um, but I love them so much. So you guys are wondering where my TV stand went. If you guys remember the one that I had, where did my TV stand go, right? I'm gonna show you. So I went ahead and I've changed everything in my media closet. All my components are still the same. And I'll turn the light on for you guys. There we go. All my components are still the same. But now I've taken out these racks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Right now they're holding my junk. <laughs> But I, I put my, my TV stand in here and I actually love the way it looks. Um, it's low to the ground, but again, I'm not gonna be in here a lot. But I have my Monolith 7 here with the Aircom Infinity, the AC Infinity, uh, this is the S7, so it's the smallest one. And it keeps my uh, Monolith very cool, I love it. I took it, I turned it off for me like 30 minutes and my Monolith heated up so quick. So this thing is really the real deal. Underneath it is the Emotiva Base X8300, which I thought about giving away to you guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it in my second listening room or not, so I've, I've held on to it, but it might be in a giveaway. So you gotta be watching these videos because that's a huge giveaway to give. Um, you definitely wanna get your hands on that. Up top we have the 3070 from Yamaha. This is the Aventage 3070. Um, a lot of history with Yamaha's receiver, especially as of late. Not so good history, not so, you know, good things about what happened to my receiver, but those videos are up if you're interested to see what happened to him. But I love this receiver. I am gonna upgrade it in the future, but just not yet. Down below there, just below it, is the uh, APC, I forgot the, the I think it's J25B. Um, that's a power conditioner. It's also a backup battery. So if my electricity goes out or anything like that, I have two hours of power until it comes on. So if I want to plug my Wi-Fi to it or my receiver or television, computer, laptop, phone, whatever I want to do, it has eight outlets on the back of it plus a cable jack for your television. So I can um, have that if my power goes out, love it. Plus it cleans my power. It keeps my um, components all protected from power surges and things like that. So I never have to worry. Just to the left of it is a legend in the industry, and that's Oppo 203 Blu-ray player. Fantastic 4K Ultra HD, Dolby Vision Blu-ray player. Love it, not sure if I'm ever gonna get rid of it unless something crazy comes out in the future, and then I'm gonna sell this one for like $1,000 because they're super rare and expensive now, so people are selling theirs for um, the price of a house right now, so it's pretty crazy, but I have that right now, and then right above it is a cheap, but really good Audio Technics um, turntable with Michael Jackson sitting inside of it. Love this turntable, it actually sounds really, really good. Love it to death. And then of course up top, you got my K-Pace guy still sitting up there, bold and proud. Bold and proud, just in case you didn't know what video you're watching, you're watching K-Pace guy. <laughs> and then up top, we'll turn the brightness down a little bit so you guys can see just a tad better. At the top we have all the Blu-rays, and then a couple boxes that I've had on too. And then all the gaming components, the PS4, PS2, Nintendo 64, got some Switch stuff. Audio Technics box, Xbox One X, and then my headphones there. So super awesome closet, love this closet. I love that I can get back here and kind of get to my stuff if I need to. So if I want to go ahead and you know change things, edit things, fix things, plug in things, new things, I can do that really easily. And then I can just click off the light. You can just close the doors and now nobody knows that I have this here unless you've seen this video. So we can just close the door and now, I didn't close the door all the way, but it's okay. And now it looks more like a modern room. You don't see a lot of mess in here. There's not a lot of going on. You don't know where my components are. 
and it's harder to steal because you're not getting into that room unless um, you make a lot of noise I can hear you so all my components are hidden away keeps the room free of clutter of mess of heat things like that so that's the home theater itself oh I almost forgot my wireless transmitters um, these are the SVS um, wireless adapters they're fantastic I love them I have one of them now. I thought I was gonna get a second one for a second subwoofer, but I'm not going to. But this, all it does is it transmits the receiver's information via RCA wirelessly to this transmitter here, and it plugs into your either your subwoofer or a powered speaker of some sort. So you can listen to music, subwoofers, whatever you want to use that's powered, that'll accept a RCA cable. And it's really, really nice. So that's gonna be it for my home theater. I don't think I forgot anything. Oh, what this TV is standing on, I'll put it down in the description below, but it's a floor standing TV mount, and I love it. It's super easy to, um, to build, put together, and I was worried that it would drop my phone, or excuse me, not my phone, but my television. I was worried that it would drop it, but it actually is doing very well. It's very sturdy. I was worried about it. I didn't want my TV to fall when I was sleeping or something like that, but it's super nice. has a glass base at the bottom, holds up well, has cable management on the back of it, which is how I have my, uh, if you guys can check it out there, I have my, uh, can you kind of see it? I have my power strip mounted via uh, 3M uh, picture frame straps, strips, whatever you want to call them. Holding up that uh, that power strip to kind of keep it out of the way, out of the floor. But super awesome stand, holds up to 65 inch televisions, up to like 130 pounds. And of course, it swivels. So I love it to death. And then of course you have the carpet. The carpet just kind of ties everything together, adds some color. People, people wonder, why would you get a rug if you have carpet? And I know it sounds crazy, but of course, it's just bland in here. I wanted some accents, some colors, some some just break up that color. And I love the way it looks. So this, I really like it. This is the look that I'm going for. I'm going to get another couch like this, just a different color, a little bit bigger, and then get some different pillows, of course, if they don't match. But that's going to be it for this video. Um, my Atmos speakers there, they're just Harman Kardon's hanging from the ceiling. I have a video of how I hung my speakers up to the ceiling. You can kind of see, you just get some hooks. They just twist into the ceiling and hang your speakers. I did that, sounds phenomenal. Of course, I'm gonna do it the right way, get some SVS Prime Elevations up there instead. Right now, that's what I'm doing. Just Harman Kardon's from a old um, home theater in the box. Sounded pretty good. Went ahead and put them up there. So, of course, I got my cable management. You gotta, you gotta stick with the cable management up there. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about my new setup. I love this setup. If there's anything that I didn't mention in this video now, I did make a video in the past and list everything in the description um, in that past video of everything that I've ever had, ever done. So if I didn't mention something that you want to see me, like the monitor, or the Xbox, or the iPad, or that phone charger down there on the desk, if, you, if there's anything that I didn't mention, um, go back and check my first home theater setup. It's called Everything I Use in My Home Theater. Check that video out. Um, it lists everything that I've ever had. So if you want to see something I didn't mention, it's in that description below. And again, they'll be in this description in this video as well. Leave me a comment down below what you like, what you don't like, any ideas that I sparked for you or any ideas you guys have for me to make my home theater better. We can kind of share our ideas and thoughts and kind of make um, each other's home theaters amazing. So let me, know, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like the carpet? Do you not like the carpet? Do you like my old setup better, new setup better? Let me know down below. And if you thought this home theater was cool or informative or just fun, leave me a like, hit the like button, smash that like button, fist pump that like, elbow it, do what you want to do, and definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. K-Pace guy out.